Cheng Pen Zhao's success story originated in China's Jiangsu province, where the talented blockchain developer was born in 1977. The programmer's parents dedicated their lives to education and worked as teachers. In his later years, Emperor Tian was an unwavering communist state. Zhao Changban's father was wide the authorities for his pro-bourgeois views. As a de facto dissident, the head of the family could not guarantee the safety of his relatives. He therefore decided to emigrate to Canada in the late 1980s. In the biography of Zhao Changban, who spent most of his conscious life in Vancouver, a new chapter now opens. For the father of a future construction contractor, the protests in Tiananmen Square, in which he himself took part, were a regular occurrence. A peaceful demonstration ended in bloodshed. It became clear that Zhao Changban would never be safe in China. Zhao Changping experienced firsthand the difficulties of life in exile. As a teenager, he actively tried to help his parents who had lost their prestigious jobs. Zhao Changping worked at McDonald's and in gas stations. However, he excelled in his studies. In high school he was considered a talented volleyball player. But his playing career ended before it had even begun. Zhao Changban decided to focus on computer engineering, his favorite hobby in life. Immediately after high school, the talented young man enrolled at a major university in Montreal. The computer science department was the driving force behind Zhao Changban's success. While in school, he continued to look for additional sources of income. However, working as a cashier or gas station attendant no longer appealed to him. However, working as a gas station attendant or cashier no longer appealed to him, and he began moonlighting as a stockbroker. This passion defined the life of Zhao Changban, who later became a billionaire. Zhao Changban's biography is both a story of hard work and a romantic tale of a man's search for the meaning of life and himself in the world. After graduation, this hero traveled extensively. He especially enjoyed Tokyo and New York. Megacities with their hectic traffic and bustle always attracted him. It was in this Big Apple that the future Binance CEO took a job at Bloomberg and settled in. There he became an expert in stock market software. Working for a prestigious company like Bloomberg doesn't necessarily mean you can properly realize your potential. Zhao Changbang's first real project came in 2001, when he was still working at the New York Stock Exchange. He developed a special system for placing buy and sell orders on the New York Stock Exchange. In professional circles, however, it was called something else, a project specialized for Bloomberg. Changbang Zhao became part of the team that developed the trading service for traders. It was called Tradebook. The talented developer specialized in finding effective solutions for trading futures and was promoted three times during his four years with the company. At the end of his career at Bloomberg, he was responsible for the interaction between the company's regional departments in the world's major financial centers. He led regional teams in Tokyo, London, and New Jersey. For Changban Zhao, 2005 was a year of significant changes in his career. As a specialist in stock trading software, he felt the need for a new challenge. So he decided to leave his comfort zone and leave Bloomberg. Experts believe that Zhao Changbang's success story begins with his startup. Having achieved great success at Bloomberg, the programmer decided to start his own business. The talented developer founded a company called Fusion Systems. The future CEO of Binance changed jobs, but his profession remained the same. He continued to develop efficient and versatile software for exchanges and traders. For eight years, the developer built his own company while simultaneously pursuing other promising startups. Zhao Changping later left Fusion Systems when he discovered a new hobby, cryptocurrencies, and since 2013 he immersed himself in realizing the idea of digital money. In 2013, he became interested in blockchain technology. His introduction to a cryptocurrency trading software developer was quite ordinary. A friend with whom he played poker worked as the managing director of Lightspeed, a venture capital fund. 
It was Ron Cao who piqued Changpeng Zhao's interest in cryptocurrencies when his company began investing in Bitcoin China. The developer began to actively study the new technology and devoted most of his free time to it. Blockchain is a fundamental element of Changpeng Zhao's success story, as it was the technology used to develop the new cryptocurrency. The programmer read the project outline of Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious inventor of Bitcoin, from cover to cover. To expand his experience and theoretical knowledge, the founder and CEO of Binance actively attended cryptocurrency conferences and participated in forum discussions. Changping Zhao became friends with Bobby Li, CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange Bitcoin China. This experienced executive advised the talented developer to invest 10% of his assets in Bitcoin at a time when the value of the coin was actively rising. The meeting with Roger Ware was another turning point in Changpeng Zhao's career. After all, he invited the protagonist to join the blockchain.info project team. In 2013, the legendary story of the user nicknamed CZ began. Working with Roger Ware and Ben Reeves opened limitless possibilities for the talented and enthusiastic user. At blockchain.info, Zhao was head of development for a year. He was also a member of the blockchain.info team. He remembers that time fondly and emphasizes the camaraderie and cohesiveness of the team. He still maintains a warm and friendly relationship with all team members. The next step in Changban Zhao's career was to develop a service to create a secure cryptocurrency wallet. This developer made a significant contribution to the transformation of blockchain. It has evolved from a little-known technology into a special entity whose effectiveness is recognized by absolutely everyone. Zhao also invested in the acquisition of ZeroBlock, an information services provider specializing in the cryptocurrency industry. In 2014, Changpeng Zhao joined the team of OKCoin, OK an exchange platform. At the time, this platform was the largest in China. The highlight of this exchange was the ability to convert cryptocurrencies into real, paper, money. However, the programmer stayed in his new job for less than a year. The parting was not the most pleasant, CZ wrote a long post on the Reddit forum in which he talked about the lack of chemistry and understanding with his partner. He had to constantly argue with Roger Ware and failed to agree with other executives on important issues regarding the development of the exchange. Learning about blockchain technology gave CZ a new impetus for professional development. He finally understood what he wanted to do in the future. So he decided to start his own company, whose activities were directly related to cryptocurrencies. At this point, he became the CEO of Binance. The programmer had a clear plan for the further development of the exchange. His platform was focused solely on cryptocurrency exchange. He wanted nothing to do with fiat currencies. Changpeng Zhao waited a long time for the right moment to launch the project, as he realized that a false start in such a delicate topic would eventually put an end to his ambitions. In July 2017, the IPO of the exchange tokens was launched, a competent ICO helped raise more than $15 million. Experienced developers managed to sell more than 200 million Binance coins. From this point, the peak of Changpeng Zhao's success story begins. Now that he had the necessary funds, all that remained was to build the platform. Of course, the developer was helped by his experience in the constant development of innovative financial technology. Thus, they managed to create the world's leading service for trading and exchanging cryptocurrencies. The official launch of the platform took place 11 days after the completion of the initial token offering. The CEO of Binance knew exactly what he wanted. The ability to prioritize correctly is one of the developer's many strengths. It took six months for the platform to become the most popular cryptocurrency exchange. The number of clients grew rapidly. Imagine, Changpeng Zhao just hired some employees who bought a new server from Amazon. At a certain point, daily trading volume exceeded $11 billion. For a while, China became important again in Changpeng Zhao's career. This was due to the fact that the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange was located here. 
However, after digital coins and ICOs were banned in China and the UK, the protagonist had to move his business to Japan. Currently, users are offered more than 240 pairs and 120 cryptocurrencies. The site's customer base consists of Americans and Japanese. The CEO of Binance has never been particularly thirsty or prone to luxury. This is especially noticeable in contrast to other businessmen who manage to earn millions of dollars from cryptocurrencies. Changpen Zhao is much older than many of his colleagues. But despite his worldwide fame, fame and popularity, he remains humble. Changpen Zhao's success story hasn't changed him one bit. The founder of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange still refuses expensive plane tickets and does not buy up real estate packages. He doesn't even own his own car. Nor does he have Gucci or Philip Plen in his closet. He only wears sweatshirts and t-shirts with his stock market logo on them. He spends very little of his own money. He has little interest outside of the cryptocurrency world. Changping Zhao, CEO of a leading cryptocurrency exchange, managed to double his fortune in a year, becoming the richest man in the digital asset industry. This follows the latest Huruan Global Rich List. His total savings are now estimated at $2.6 billion. This jump has allowed him to climb 805 ranks in the prestigious ranking. As mentioned earlier, Changping is not used to being extravagant. That is why he invests all his spare money in his business. Cryptocurrencies and Promising Blockchain Startups In an interview with Forklog, he revealed that he sold his house in Shanghai in 2014 and used all the proceeds to buy Bitcoin. He confirmed that he used the proceeds to buy Bitcoin. He has not sold the coin since then because he believes their value will rise. Mr. Zhao does not consider himself the richest man in the cryptocurrency industry. He believes there are many richer people than him, but their wealth is harder to calculate because there are no official business ventures. Therefore, he considers all the rankings assessing his wealth to be very subjective. He himself confirms that his shares in Binance alone are valued at about $2 billion, but does not want to give the exact figure because it is confidential information. The CEO of Binance is now investing 99% of his money in a domestic token exchange, the BNB coin. All the traditional attributes of a billionaire, such as expensive cars, fancy houses, luxury accessories of world-famous brands and private jets, are worth nothing to Zhao. Therefore, his entire fortune consists of cryptocurrencies.